Riley got a cold, and what what we think we know about her heart um, is that her heart had been sick for a while, and when she got that cold, it showed how sick her heart was. At first, the left side of my heart wasn't pumping that good, but then after that, my right, the right side of my heart just didn't want to pump anymore. Her her needs escalated over the weekend, and so by the time Monday rolled around, we were. Um, pulling a lot of strings together um, to get a VAD in her pretty quickly. For us to have a VAD in, it keeps the child um, stable and healthy. It helps them rehab, um, both physically and nutritionally. And then it helps us give some time to the, where they're safe to figure out where their heart's gonna go. It was a little weird. You might feel a little weird at first when you have it, but after, when you get used to it, you're fine. She had a tough first month or six weeks, and you know, in those moments, and in, in, in the pure honesty of it, you don't know how it's gonna go. It's crazy that she knows that she would not be alive without, you know, what we're doing. For me, the biggest challenge was, okay, we need to make sure that, that she regains her strength and knows that she can. So we did, we tried to push through that, and some days I, hated that I pushed her too hard, which probably is two out of a hundred, but that if I were to not push her through those moments and that if moms don't push or dads don't push them through, then she would have stayed in bed. Um, it's been more figuring out, not being limited by the can't, but figuring out what we can do and getting her as, as many normal opportunities and experiences that we possibly can. This hospital has been a blessing to us and has really, uh, met with us and tried to encourage us to be creative and change, not change rules for us, but change rules to make sure that other kids can be active and other kids can, um, can try new things and be safe at the same time. If I am successful in getting Riley to her transplant and getting her home, that would be amazing. Um, but I could also say that we've been successful so far and getting her more days. She just got to celebrate her mom's birthday with her. She got to take Easter pictures with her sisters. So those are successes. So everybody's friends now, yeah? I'm gonna have to hear your whole story. It's only part of your story so far, yeah? I think I am still trying to catch up. I think they're even saying that she can, you know, doesn't have to wear a mask. And I'm like, maybe at the beginning, where we're getting used to people's germs, they're gonna wear a mask. And I mean, it's just a miracle. Even though transplant isn't a perfect solution, I always feel like I can breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief when we can get them on to that next step. But the fact that she then was able to go home so quickly afterwards, I think is a testament to why we do device support. Those vads, I mean, she came to life when she had her vads. I mean, it was just doing all the pumping for her. You know, now that you have all that blood flow, it won't do any good if you're not active. Don't coddle. It's incredible to know where we were at, you know, just a few months ago and where we're at now.